Hi everyone. Tonight's video is on macromolecules, polymers, and polymerization reactions. Cells are composed of large organic molecules called macromolecules. The molecules you studied in chemistry were small. They had between one and three central atoms. Macromolecules are composed of 50 to hundreds of carbons. They are truly huge molecules. There are four classes of macromolecules that we will talk about all year. Three of these classes are what we call polymers. Polymers are long chains of repeated subunits called monomers. This is an example of a polymer. The monomer of this polymer is a paperclip. Another example of a polymer is pictured here and the monomer of this polymer is a bead. Finally, the last example of this polymer, the monomer is a light bulb. Monomers can be identical like these black beads, or they can have slightly different characteristics like the different colored paper clips or the different colored lights. Even if they have slightly different characteristics, they have the same overall structure and function. The difference between a red paper clip and a green paper clip is just its color. They have the same overall structure and the same function to hold things together. No matter what monomer the polymer is composed of, the reaction used to assemble them into a polymer is the same, and it's called either a condensation reaction or a dehydration synthesis reaction. These are both correct terms, and it's kind of unfortunate that there's two terms for the same reaction. You can use either and they are both correct. So let's look at a reaction where we're going to put together two identical monomers. When we put together two monomers in a dehydration synthesis reaction, we are gonna remove water from the molecules by taking a hydroxyl from one monomer and a hydrogen from another molecule to form water. This is where the term dehydration comes from. We pull water out of these molecules to form what's called a dimer, which is the beginning of a polymer. This dimer is composed of one part from the first monomer and one part from the second monomer. Even if the macromolecule is not a polymer, but simply a large molecule made of subunits, it's formed by the same condensation or dehydration synthesis reaction. It's important for you to note that this reaction would also require something called an enzyme, and it's specific to the polymer or macromolecule being either broken down or built. Enzymes are covered in a separate video on this YouTube channel. No matter what monomer the polymer is composed of, the reaction used to break it down into monomers is also the same. We have a term for this reaction, and it's called a hydrolysis reaction. Let's break down this word. Hydro means water, and lysis is a scientific term for break. So a hydrolysis reaction means water break. Let's look at our dimer that we produced in the previous reaction. If we add water, water can be thought of as both a hydrogen and a hydroxyl. So the hydroxyl and the hydrogen can be used to break the bond between the two monomers in the dimer. That would produce a monomer with a hydroxyl on one end and the monomer that has the hydrogen from water on the other end. We have now produced, reproduced our two monomers from that dimer in this hydrolysis reaction. It's important to note again that this enzyme would also require, this reaction would require an enzyme that would be specific to the polymer or macromolecule being broken down. Even if the macromolecule is not a polymer, but simply a large molecule made of subunits, it's still broken down by a hydrolysis reaction using an enzyme. So you should know that macromolecules are large molecules. Some macromolecules are polymers. Polymers are made, are large molecules made of repeating subunits called monomers. The monomers in a polymer can be identical or they can be variations on the same overall entity. Some macromolecules are not polymers at all. Instead, they're composed of non-identical subunits. 
Macromolecules and polymers are formed by condensation synthesis or dehydration reactions. And both macromolecules and polymers are broken down into monomers or subunits by hydrolysis reactions. Finally, you should be able to draw both a dehydration synthesis reaction and a hydrolysis reaction if asked to on a test or quiz. So that's all for tonight.